Welcome back, everyone. Thank you again for watching. This is episode four of the Simpsons Hit and Run, played on the GameCube. Last episode, we did two races. We also completed a mission for Cletus, got ourselves a little truck. Uh, this episode here, we're going to start off by getting right into this race here with Nelson. And after completing this... I know you. You're the kid that sells me bootleg CDs on the street corner. Yeah, well, I've been having some legal problems lately, so I'm stuck running these races for the DMV. It was this or read to the elderly. <laughs> Alright, so as I was saying, after this race, we'll unlock a new vehicle, and then we'll progress with a few other things in the mission, or the level, complete a mission or two, and try and get some collectibles. So this one here is going to be a Three, lap two, race. One. Uh, so it's similar to our point-to-point -point race that we had previously, where we're going to be pretty much racing part the whole race. The only difference with this one being that instead of, obviously, instead of going from one point to another, we're going to lap around three laps. Shouldn't be too bad of a race. At least the laps give us a little extra time to get used to the course. Last time we... Uh, Last time we raced Spart, he got the best of us the first one. It's kind of embarrassing. But this one here, I think we're gonna pound him, show him he's the real boss. So it's a short track, that's one lap completed already with these tight turns at both ends. Should be should be able to hold him off though, I don't think we're gonna have any issues this time. I'd be damned if I fucking lose twice in the same first story mission. It's gonna take our time, we've got a good distance ahead of them. The other cars aren't really in play unless they Evo us and cut us off. Like, almost there. They're pretty good to staying on their own side. If you don't mess with them, usually it keeps them on the same kind of path where they stay mostly out of your way. So. As you can see here, we're comfortably in the lead, so I can't see us screwing this up. Good thing you can pass through those small trees. Can't go through the big ones. Big ones will stop you dead in your tracks, but at least it's not like Grand Theft Auto where you hit a shrub and come to a complete dead stop and fly out your fucking windshield. So it's just a formality of completing this race at this point. I think we're going to... Oh, oh! Well, so much for they mostly keep to themselves. I guess that was a tight turn, though. We'll let them have that one. This is terrible. I'm going to drown my sorrows at the Golden Banana. Oh, that was too easy. All races completed. Congratulations. Go to a phone booth to get the Electorus. So that's... Uh, I think that's the white car. Let's see, phone boot right here. So the Electorus, just a little car. It's got a little bit better, well, two stars instead of one star on its speed. Its toughness is a star less than our family stand, but we'll take her out, we'll take her for a spin, see what happens. So from here, we're actually going to not follow these arrows to our house because I want to get this cam before I forget. Right here. Pick up some coins. And now we'll... Actually, we're going to take this rocket car. See if we can make it all the way back to our house without completely blowing up this very fragile car. It's like driving a friggin glass friggin jar. I'm actually surprised I hit that telephone pole I'm not smoking yet. Ooh, we're, gonna, we're gonna take the jumps. We'll, we'll get the wrench anyways. Uh oh, uh oh. Ooh. The acceleration in this is true to roof, but handling is not so great and the damage is non-existent. We're going to run in here actually right quick before we get too far. We're going to go, there should be a shirt sale spot in this corner. We still can't kick Lisa. It's the only character we can't kick. So we're just going to buy all the costumes, get that out of the way.
And we're going to finish off here with the Homer Casual. We well, might as well play with his underwear. Why not? It's a nice day. I'll cover your mockers. <laughs> I think we already got all the gags in here, so I don't think I have to worry about that. Hopefully, I don't know if a rock car will stay. Oh, yeah, it did. Awesome. Oh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, oh, we're smoking. I don't think we're gonna make it all the way. Oh, 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 oh there it goes. There it goes. That did it. Oh, he did a good distance. It wasn't too bad. And we would have made it too, maybe, if this guy hadn't rear ended us. Might as well take the school. So we're going to get back to our house and then we're going to launch the next mission. And I think there's going to be a little cutscene. There usually is, there's a little explanation that will use something or another for a lot of the missions. Just gives you a little explaining on what you're going to be doing, what's going on in the game. And the first level here just really develops what's going to happen for the rest of the game kind of thing, like what you're really getting into with the, the boss cams and all that good junk. So let's go see what happens. Oh, sit on our sofa. Well, at least we're in our proper clothes for sofa sitting. The famous bearded cartoon creator incarcerated in a Peruvian jail. In other news, local citizens are outraged over the discovery of surveillance cameras throughout the town. We go now to City Hall, where Mayor Quimby is fielding questions from an angry mob. These miniature cameras are an outrage. Spying on our women's dressing rooms, bathrooms, and locker rooms is unforgivable. I think I speak for all Springfielders when I say, where is the sexy footage? In other unexplained news, strange black vans have been appearing all over town. Marge, that black van is spying on us. Oh, homie. You're so sexy when you're paranoid. All right. So our sexy paranoid Homer is now going to have to investigate the and follow the black van. Don't let it get away. So we just got to hop out of our house. I think we should go look for that sexy footage myself, but I don't know. Uh, ugh. I think it only activates when we get. Nope, okay, never mind. Take that back. I was hoping to get into a better car because we want to follow them, and this bus isn't exactly speedy or controllable, but I guess we've got no choice. Probably should have thought of that before I got into the mission. But this is the tutorial level, so I can't see us having much challenge here. Although he is driving erratically. Not even stopping at stop signs. Not in suspicious about that. Oh, and cutting people off, hitting into them. What a bastard. Watch it, buddy. Oh. Front end collision. He doesn't seem to care. I'm not a very good driver. Watch it, I almost built my Sunday. Yeah, this bus is terrible. I didn't even make that jump. That was a sad attempt. Oh well, I think it's pretty much done. I don't think we can lose him in here unless we really slow. There is a jump in here though, and I'm kinda of worried. Okay, we're not taking that direction. I have no worried about clearing with this. Actually, this is a twisty, twisty tunnel. Don't make it easy to keep up with them because this bus sucks. Can't believe we transport our children in this piece of shit transportation. Can't even make the standard turn. I thought we had already got that cam, but I guess we'll have to come back. 
Um, I don't think they respawn in the cams. I could be wrong though. So, Mr. Burns is behind all this. Evil spying is so like him, that wrinkled old monkey skeleton. We're number one. We're so there's that mission. We found out that Mr. Burns is somehow involved. Oh, here's a gag right here. We only need two, so we might as well. Do you mind? You're spoiling the romance here. <laughs> That's Mayor Quimby's place, I guess. So now we just need one gag, I think, to complete our gags for this mission. For this level. Krusty, let's kick Krusty. Fuck you, Krusty. This is for being not funny. Can you come and get me? I'll pay you in back, Rob. Alright, so next we're going to head to the grocery store. We're going to take on our next mission. Nelson. So we're really coming up on having the most of this mission level uh, done, aside from the collectibles. So we're going to do this mission, and then the next video we'll concentrate more on getting some of those remaining collectibles and mission progress, level progress, sorry. Mr. Burns is spying on everybody. We've got to follow him. Not now, Homer. A new violent video game has hit the streets. And we need to get rid of it before it warps any children with its bloops and bleeps. But that game sounds awesome. And therefore should be destroyed. I guess. Alright. So now we have to help Marge by hit the delivery truck and collect the Bone Storm games before time runs out. Oh. The violent video game that Marge is happy with, I guess. And being an overprotective mom. Doesn't want our kids playing violent video games. So we gotta Turn smash the, the truck. Dumbass. When we smash the truck, it's gonna drop an item, and then we're gonna pick it up. We gotta do that ten times. So, so hit, fast. collect, hit, over and over and over again. Except for that time, apparently he's been dropping. Steady, Marjorie, steady. And we only we have the time limit up here. We have two minutes and thirty seconds about left to complete this. So. Can you imagine if life worked this way? Just, you know, a bunch of angry moms falling around like Call of Duty trucks or something, just ramming into them and destroying their shit. Somehow nothing coming about it. Nobody seems to care. I'm waiting for the realist, like a super ultra realistic video game to come out where everything has a problem. Like Grand Theft Auto, but with like, you know, go to jail. Throw you in jail, just, you know, jail simulator. Spend 12 hours sitting in prison. If only kids would play more video games about sharing. Bart, you know I have poor, crazy plans. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have to go spy on my boy. <laughs> I'm king of the world! Right, there's another mission completed. So for our next mission, we're going to want to drive to the power plant, but before we do that, let's just get out our vehicle, get me? I'll pay you and let's take a quick look at our progress for this level so far. So we have one mission left, which is why we're going to stop at this mission, and we're going to collect some of these remaining collectibles because I don't want to complete the mission and push forward into the next level before we 100% this one. So we've unlocked three of the five vehicles. We got the two free ones. We did the Cletus mission and we completed all three races. So now we got to collect a few more coins and we might, no, we don't. So we need a, a couple more coins, a hundred 
coins. I think by the time we get about 300 coins, we should have enough to buy the two cars from Gil. That'll complete off that section. We still need 12 wasp games and two gags. I thought that doorbell was a gag, but I guess it wasn't. So in the next upcoming video, we're going to focus mostly on getting those items. And then depending on how that goes, we might try to finish off that level, but I can't see it happening. So for the time being, we're going to end this episode four right here. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, Please drop a comment, leave a like, anything you want to say, anything you think. And uh, if you haven't already watched the previous episodes, you can go to the Better Than Potato Salad uh, channel. And on the bottom, there's a playlist for all these videos. Click through that playlist, watch them all. would really appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for more upcoming episodes in this series. Thank you again. Later.